for the last month and a half is to basically um, work for a menswear designer here in Abuja. So I'm working for him I'm, and I'm also learning. I mean, I am trained to be a fashion designer. So um, ever since my arrival in Nigeria, usually when I talk to people and they say, what do I do? And I say, I'm a fashion designer. And this is like from men, right? And it's like, do you do menswear? And it's just so disappointing that I can do make a traditional mentor. So I took that as a challenge to go through this course and so far the um, the course has been going quite well. So basically I come to work three times a week and the rest of my free days I do my own thing and I sew for women too. So I, I just want to say that my boss is a Muslim so he's male and he's Muslim and people that walk around him are also Muslim. So one of the strict requirements that I had to follow was to, you know, I have to be conservative. So basically when I'm coming to work it has to be like a see like a baggy outfit so this is an example of what i would usually wear to work and um, long pants like that and then i've got socks here like that now socks is because um in a muslim um, business place you can't come in with your shoe all of the shoes are always outside but i decided to always wear socks inside um, my shoes so i can just walk around without using my bare feet but so far, my course has been going quite well and I'm learning so much and it's just refreshing. I'm really enjoying menswear because it's just, it's compared to menswear, it's basic, it's straightforward and you basically repeat a lot of things. It's a, it has to do with reputation, it has to be do with neatness, it has to do with accuracy. I come to work by 8.30 and I finish by 5pm. Um, 5 but most of the time i notice that i come to like i would always arrive 10 minutes late a uh, majority of the time i would always see that i've been trying to kind of like correct that but i do commute from my area at the outskirts of town and then i come to town every single day now why i'm doing this is because um, my boss is, has already gone to mosque and so they do like around one o'clock i know they go to mosque and i think around four o'clock too but the mosque time that i, I am always looking forward to is a friday on which is like the sala is like the big um, prayer time so it's an hour so that gives me enough time to be able to kind of like you know play around the shop relax sometimes i even nap so that's <laughs> so that's like <laughs> one of the benefits of working with a muslim but like i don't feel like i'm not part of the team it has always been you know civil respectful and i'm learning a lot I am done for the evening. The first place I'll be stopping at is the mall and after the mall I'll be picking out I mean I'm going to the mall to pick up some stuff and then from the mall I have a candlelight service. Um, we lost a, a fellow hiker so so majority majority of us will be attending the service. So that's what the rest of this vlog is gonna be. I am waiting for my for my boat ride right now. You get your percentage. Yeah, the more they pay you. <laughs> YouTube is YouTube is difficult, a girl like. Where are you from? No. Where are you from, Moga? Okay. So you, you're going to love it. Enugu is the best state I've been to in this whole Nigeria so far. Like seriously? Yes, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Inside the mall, so the first place I'm headed to is Miniso, and Miniso is a Japanese brand. And I know Miniso in the Philippines. I never knew I could ever find Miniso in Nigeria. is a charger for my iPhone I mean I still have one but I misplaced one while I was hiking I so I just I just like to have a spare charger at home so that you know in case I lose the other one I can just easily go back to that one without being with the charger 
My second stop is supposed to be um, ShopRite, but I'm gonna go check for the sunset first before going inside the store. are also off it seems like they are in charge they seem to be in the christmas mood already so what i'm looking for is this power surge plug and it is freaking expensive in here looks like I am not buying. So I am done with my shopping and I am headed to the candlelight service right now. spot also known as drunk yard is also located here but i need to find where my other hikers are where my friends are and that's the mission yawuza that's the best we are in abuja <laughs> thank you for that tip yeah. thank you so much <laughs> Dearly beloved friend, sister, daughter, Miss Grace Usman, round please. Make sure you are having your candle. Yeah, yeah. I'll still just to reflect on the life of um, beloved Gracie. 